Welcome to the Untrapped Podcast, where we're motivated and inspired about success, small business, and personal development. And now, Keith Kalfas. Okay, we're live. What's up, guys? This is Keith Kalfas. I'm excited. So I have this question that I I want clarification on. Why do you need a 50% profit margin, gross profit margin, whenever you take on any job? It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're a landscaper, contractor, window cleaning, or whatever it is. So here's here's the math and i have robert gubro on here right now he, who's an fcpc fcpa he's a, a tax law accounting advisor this guy understands profitability when it comes to business this is what he does he has an entire firm doing this and we're doing a live uh, fireside chat literally next week that i want you to sign up for at keithkelfis.com slash events make sure you go there and sign up because he's going to be doing an entire presentation that's going to help you master the profitability inside of your business and afterwards you're going to get you're going to get a free pdf download that you can there's key takeaways that you can actually go and implement into your business this guy knows his stuff right but i want to put him on the spot real quick before next week and ask him this one thing that's been itching at me and and i'll let you say it all in a second okay i learned at a live mastermind event about business and profitability several years ago and went and did this thing in my business saying it's the 50% gross profit margin rule that you're not allowed to take on any job unless you're making at least a 50% gross profit margin. And it was crystal clear to me, this math, and it changed my whole business because it became this new rule that where I really finally started leveling up and making some freaking money. This was a while back, but, and then I started teaching it on YouTube and on social media excited but all these people started coming back going what are you talking about that's totally wrong and i was like what have you ever taught something that is so clear to you but then everybody's like doesn't understand it and they're saying you're wrong and then you start questioning whether or not you even know what the hell you're talking about and here's what it is if a job if, if you're going to take on a job let's just say the job um, it's like a landscaping job because we do landscaping and you're planting some bushes, you're trimming some stuff, you're doing mulch and everything, and you figure out all the math that's going to cost you to do this job. So aside from your, your own pay, right? So uh, gas insurance, labor, uh, 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 taxes, workers' comp insurance, brake pads, like the materials, everything it costs you to do this job, like everything down to the most minuscule thing. Take that amount. Let's say it costs you 2500 bucks to do the job. You take that and times that by two, and you're going to charge five grand for the job. So after the job is all done, you're going to have to fi- have to ha- you're going to have a 50 percent gross profit margin. So I'm saying this, and everybody's saying, "No, you're wrong. That's a hundred percent profit margin." I'm like, "They're like, well, you're timesing it by two. And this became this. I'm like, I couldn't wrap my head around it, and I got really frustrated. And I kept thinking about it. I'm like, "Wait a second, it's a 50 percent markup." So when the job is all said and done, you're actually getting a 50% gross profit margin. Now, Robert, Bob, after everything that I've just said, can you clarify, because you're smiling and I know you know what I'm talking about. Can you make this make perfect sense so even I can learn it and speak it back better? You know? Totally. And and yeah, you know, it's one of the most challenging things. And first off, thanks for having me in here. Uh, super great to meet everybody in your community. Look forward to connecting next week. But This is something that comes up all the time, and it's the difference between a profit and a markup. And I think you've identified it really, really well to say they are not the same thing at all. If you are looking for the greatest software ever to run your business on, go to getjobber.com forward slash Keith. You can create proposals, invoices, collect payments, and track your entire business directly on the Jobber smartphone app. If you want to get a totally free trial of Jobber right now, open your browser, type in getjobber.com forward slash Keith. And after the trial, if you decide to sign up with Keith's link, you'll automatically get 20% off your first six months. So what are you waiting for? Go to getjobber.com forward slash Keith. Gross profit margin at 50%. Love it. I think it's a fantastic idea. It's a great benchmark. And essentially to mark up that price 100%, right? So that it's 5,000 for a $2,500 job. Love that too. How simple is that for math, right? And then all of a sudden it becomes, this is just an expectation of when we budget our projects and we come up with all our materials, our labor, our vehicle costs, everything that goes into providing that, and then we double it. Simple math, fantastic margin. And if you can grow your business with that type of margin, you essentially guarantee financial success, 
right? But it's sticking with that margin that is so very important. Keith, I love that. Um, but yes, you're right. You know, I, I, I work with about a thousand contractors uh, and businesses and for sure different sizes, right? Um, there's different businesses that are, you know, at the $100,000 trying to crack that in revenue. And there's the $10 million contractor who's trying to crack that revenue. Margins start to change and transform as we scale. But when we're in that sort of under $500,000 in revenue range, Keith, your benchmark for that 50% is bang on. Let's go. I love everything you're saying. So how would you speak that back to somebody who's new to that kind of that, that financial rule and say it in a way so the first time they hear it, it makes perfect sense. Like speak it back. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I would say, and I think you did a really good job articulating it as well. I would say for every job, and this is important, guys, like this is a key financial characteristic of being successful. For every job you're going to do and you're going to price, you want to know what the costs are associated with delivering that project, right? You need to know all the material, all the time, all the travel, everything. Get very well informed of what that looks like and then take that cost and double it when you double it it will give you a 50 percent profit margin on your job and that is a benchmark that you can take to the bank and it will help build you the foundation of a really strong financially successful business so i, I posted a video about that and it got like I got like 65,000 views on this short where I kind of said kind of like what you just said. And people are just coming and roasting me in the comments saying that that math is wrong. And then somebody, pers a person actually like, triggered a person I know who's a highly esteemed serial entrepreneur who called me and said, I really liked your video, but I feel like you're giving out disinformation because if you only charge, if you only make, you know, double your price of all your costs, you're going to be out of business. Like immediately, this is horrible information you're giving out. You have to like, and then there's people saying you got to at least triple it. So, but why are you saying that's good that you can take that to the bank? Why would somebody say that to me? Because I know I, I have a landscaping business and that's, that's worked great for us. Do you get what I'm saying? 100%. And so here's, here's the difference. And everybody's going to always have their opinions, Keith, right? Like we have, everybody's got an idea of how it should work. Looking to maximize your production in the field? Ballard Products has over 300 products that can help you get the most out of your efforts every day. Ballard Products. Whether you are looking to get a better cut, keep your gear on your machine, keep your expensive equipment clean and safe, or just get the most out of your machines, Ballard has you covered. Ballard Products. Jump onto our easy-to-use updated website at ballard-inc.com to get your gear ordered today. Keep grinding, Keep grinding stay, stay safe, safe, and have a great season. Ballard. Make sure to use the code KEITH10 to save 10% on our full line of gear. That's KEITH10. I'm coming from the perspective of I work with a 1,000 businesses, and if we have a 50% profit margin, that business is has got a really good foundation for pricing their projects correctly. You know, that would be honestly um, a 50% profit margin. It would be the high end of what we would normally see in this industry. But what I would say is if you use that as a foundation of building your business, which you can, right? Businesses can do that and do it successfully, especially with the demand of being in the home services business, right? If you build that framework where you take your costs, your estimated costs, and you double it, 50% profit margin, that is a strong, strong profit margin. People sometimes don't get it from outside. Um, if you are doubling your cost, you're going to get a 50% profit. You know, 100% markup is a 50% profit. It's just the math and numbers don't lie. A hundred percent markup is a 50% profit. So this is the last thing that I, that's really occurring to me is, well, I do know my numbers. I do have a bookkeeper. We do get PL statements and I know every single penny coming in and out of the business. Right. And it allows me to make better decisions. Right. And I was frustrated when I didn't know that. So would sometimes when people say things like that, maybe they might be thinking that either th uh, or, or they're not thinking because they don't know they're not aware or they're pointing to other people and like a speculation to that 
maybe the people you're saying this to aren't aware of their true costs. They just see the costs that are right in front of them, but they're not calculating all of the back end and ongoing, you know, variable costs and all these different things. Can you talk about that? 100%. And I'm going to get into If you don't know that, then a 50% profit margin of what? You could be going out of business in a few months because there's no room for, you know what I'm saying? Totally. So I think there's a couple key components in there, Keith. One, if you don't know your numbers, you don't know the score of the game, right? And I use the analogy of thinking of a scoreboard going into a basketball game. You, know, you go into a basketball game, there's so many shots being taken, which is like the entrepreneurial journey, right? We're so busy. There's so many things moving. But if we aren't keeping track of the score, how do we know if we should be on offense or defense? Are we protecting a lead or should we be going hard at trying to score? And that sort of analogy in our business is we need to know how we're doing in our business. We need to know our margins. So the first problem I see, Keith, is that a lot of business owners do not know their numbers. And I'm going to go out there and say more than 50% do not have an up-to-date profit and loss showing them what their margins are. A lot of businesses that we initially start working with come in thinking their margins are 50%, right? That they're making a 50% profit margin. And when we actually put together what goes into delivering those projects, they might have a 15% profit margin. And, you know, when we're talking about why profit margins are- oh, And important. at the end of the day, I don't have a 50% profit margin when it's all said and done that's just when i'm quoting the jobs because then totally. stuff takes longer we need a little more materials shit goes wrong that's just what happens and we end up more at like a 35 percent profit margin and my is business great. is a lot smaller that's why it's a higher profit margin because i could still be doing the sales and jumping in and out of the field like that and i understand if you've got a seven hundred thousand dollar business and you've got a profit margin well, that's great how are you doing that so it's just it's a relative right it's completely relative. And, you know, 35% margin, again, is a, a super successful margin. But why do we need that? Well, we have to have 35% as a profit margin because we've got all these overhead expenses. You know, you've got likely as you continue to grow, you've got administration, uh, you've got rent, you've got insurance costs, you've got maybe marketing agencies that you're that are working for you where it's set monthly costs that regardless of how much revenue you have these costs Jill's office provides friendly professional receptionists for small business owners just like you we can help answer your calls and we can even schedule estimates and jobs for you try Jill's office today and get a $25 discount when you say untrapped just go to jillsoffice.com come in every single month our 35% profit has to cover these. And I think a lot of businesses don't understand that either, where you go 35% sounds great, but if you have so much overhead, you might still not be making money, right? There's so it's understanding thing. that financial model. Okay, this guy is going to blow your mind next week. Go to keithkelfis.com slash events, and you're going to see uh, – a deep dive industry event called Mastering Profitability. And we're going to do a fireside chat where he's going to teach all types of stuff. Trust me, you're going to want to take notes and attend this live event July 26th in the evening. This guy, he's going to just crush it. So he's just giving you a little, he's just answering a couple questions. Like the depth of this guy's knowledge is amazing. And so, but one other thing I want to, just for the people watching right now, so they can get clarity. You might be calculating the entire business if you have a small service business calculating yourself in the field doing you know 30 40 50 80 maybe 100 percent of the work so like last year when i got totally out of the field in my service business and now i'm back in the field part-time because oh, I, I actually love it i had to get out of the field to realize that i was going nuts not doing any of the work my profit margin tanked all the way down because i was paying myself that 28 dollars an hour as a technician right between payroll and distributions, I was paying myself as a technician and taking profits out of the business. So, but when I got out of the field, now I'm paying all that to a crew leader. So all that stuff changes all of a sudden, right? So if you say, oh, you're making a 50% a profit margin with you in or out of the field, does that make sense? 100%, and there's a huge difference, right? Like, so think of my business, for example, um, which is professional services, let's, you know, a CPA business, a lot of it is just professional expertise and labor, right? That's a huge part of my cost of delivery. If it's just me, 
right? If I'm doing a $500 tax return and it's just me, you could argue that my profit's $500, 100%, right? But if I want to take on 10 tax returns that all have to be done at the same time, I have to hire somebody to do that. So it may cost me $400 in labor costs to deliver that. That is different. You know, a 20% profit and a 100% profit on the exact same project. So we need to be clear on how this works. And Keith, you know, the one sort of last takeaway that I'll give um, for any of your viewers today would be if you want to solve that, it's understanding your break-even point. Your break-even point is your sales level that covers all costs before the company makes any money. And it's very interesting that you have, you know, businesses that have a million dollars in revenue. They might have a 25 or 35% profit margin, but they're not actually profiting any money at their bottom line. We have to understand what that sales number is, where, you know, if you hit 300,000 in sales this year, you're going to not make any money. We want to know, like, this is our bottom line threshold to say, this is where we have to get to. And then anything above that 300 is where we start adding to the bottom line. And, you know, numbers, again, numbers are the foundation of success in business. I, I had the opportunity to work with Tony Robbins for quite a few years. And uh, one of Tony's uh, mentors is Jim Rowan. And Jim Rowan says, uh, business success is just a numbers game. So if you can understand your numbers, you can understand how to be financially successful. Ah, it's just a numbers game. And if the numbers don't work and I see all these great comments coming in and we're going to get to all these comments when you guys join next week, we're going to have a whole networking opportunity and everything. This is going to be epic for your business. And I'm going to be taking a lot of notes too. love it. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop right here because that's just a snippet of ne next week. So I'll, I'll, I'll come back and I'll drop a link in here so you guys can sign up. If not, just open up your browser real quick and go to Keith Kelfis keithkelfis.com slash events. It'll be the first thing that you see. It'll say uh, Mastering Profitability Deep Dive Industry Event. Go there and sign up with your name and email and you get a notification and make sure you join us next week, July 26 for a fireside chat with Robert Govro. Any last words, bro? No, you know what? Be there next week. And, and why? We're going to talk about your industry specifically, right? We're going to talk about the service industry, what numbers should be, how we can drive them higher, how to understand them, and then how to take your business to the next level. Ultimately, and we chatted about this before, Keith, you know, what is my goal in my business? It's to empower business owners just like you to make informed decision to have the confidence to know you're making the right decision so you can grow help more people and together we can change the world so come next week and we'll figure out how to change the world together see you next week i'm running out hopping in my truck i got a job site going on right now i gotta go make sure the job's all perfect to go collect the check love it awesome. peace thanks guys hey i hope you liked the show and if you like the untrapped podcast and you get value from it can you please take a minute and go over to Spotify and leave it a well-worded positive five-star review? It helps boost the rankings on Spotify so the show can get to more people. Therefore, this, these messages can get out to more people and inspire more people so then they can go out and start their small businesses and crush it and get to the next level. It's a huge deal. All right, I'll see you in the next show.